Now in 10, investigators believe it was done as a Valentine's Day joke. But the images of young girls hogtied and bound by duct tape has sparked outrage. So what's being done? Tonight, we'll hear from parents of a local police officer who are praying for his recovery after he was shot in the head over the weekend. Plus, a local biz gives new meaning to doggy paddling, how it helps get your pet fit and healthy. Live from WATN TV in high definition, this is Local 24 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Brandon Artilles. And I'm Katina Rankin. He said it was a joke, but no one is laughing about photos of a toddler and a baby, duct tape, which have surfaced on Facebook. And the pictures show a toddler hogtied with duct tape. Her mouth is also taped shut, and that's not the only one. We found another picture posted on Facebook by the same teen. It shows a baby also bound with duct tape. Both posts had the message, Happy Valentine's Day. The photos originated from Gibson County, Tennessee. That's about 100 miles northeast of Memphis. Local 24's Leah Krauss spoke with the sheriff there about the investigation. It is tonight's top story. We spoke with the Gibson County Sheriff, and he says he's never seen anything like this before. The sheriff says he was notified by Trenton police about the picture of this toddler bound with duct tape. And since then, he has been bombarded with calls and messages from the public. It's sad, but I'm not shocked. Um, you know, I see stuff all the time now that to normal people is, is crazy, and they think I can't believe people out there in this world like this. But when I see stuff like this, you know, I'm like, here we go again. He says an investigator was able to identify the teen who bound the child. He and his mother were interviewed by authorities. The sheriff says the girl in this picture wasn't harmed and is in safe hands. He wouldn't comment on the picture showing the baby bound with tape. Thomas says he thinks the pictures were initially done as a joke. Well, I don't know what the humor is in it, but that, that was the excuse I was given. The father comes out in me and it, it angers me. Uh, and it makes me want to be more protective over mine. Child Services is also involved in the investigation. No, you can't be doing that to kids, man. That's not cool. Because I have a two-year-old daughter. That's and if somebody done that to my kid, hmm, 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 crazy things would happen. Charges against the teenage boy are expected to be filed Tuesday. In Gibson County, Leah Krause, Local 24 News. Leah.